just a really fun, colorful look. It's sort of inspired by Indian looks. Um, the colors are not taken out as far, it's not as heavy and winged, but I thought it would be fun to do a very relaxed, colorful look, sort of taking the colors from that culture. I did do a fun sort of 50s style um, pinup winged liner, which is actually a fairly easy flowy eyeliner to do, and it does kind of set the precedent of an easygoing sort of day look. You can always make this super dramatic with uh, maybe a darker purple in the outer corner or even some false lashes and really dress it up. I think you can really take colorful looks to any level. And the fact that the face is just very natural and flush and it's a natural lip, not a nude lip, I think really helps sort of carry off that fresh, colorful, polished look. So I hope you enjoyed this look. I had fun putting it together for you guys. And I'll really natural see luminous eye brightening serum and the all natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer. It's already all over my lids and up to the brow bone. Pumpkin and Poppy Cosmetics eyeshadow. This is the color Entertain Us, and it is a shimmering orange. My E70, and we're just going to put this all over the eyelid and about an eighth of a way into the crease, just so we don't cut across the eyelid and make it look smaller. So I'm just taking baguette and we're going to be doing sort of a outer corner to crease connection. We're going to start doing a little V out in the corner and then we're going to just very delicately stay low onto the crease and blend this out. Dom, which is also a pumpkin poppy eyeshadow from the All Natural line, and it's basically a medium warm brown. It's a little darker than Baguette. It's got a little bit more shimmer as well. So we're going to start placing this in the outer V. And blend it out. Children of the Revolution, which is a very um, refined but sparkly purple. The It's not a super chunky, glittery eyeshadow. It has a lot of good pigment base in there, but it's got some nice holographic glimmer shimmer in it as well. And the crease, and I put the brown down first just to get a good transition uh, base. And we're going to put the purple on top just to make the purple actually appear a little bit darker and blend on a little nicer. The crease, I'm going to be taking Street Rat from her Aladdin collection, which is a really pretty purple pink color. And what I'm going to do with this is start from the outer corner. This is a little bit richer than Children of the Revolution, so it will show up. And we're just going to place it like so. Blend it out. It's got those warm tones which will really work nicely with the orange color. Entertain us. Take Mighty Evil One, also from the Aladdin line. And we're going to begin this color, which is a nice burgundy. And we're going to start this color using that same brush, because we can. I'm going to do a lighter outer V. In the buff, I'm going to take this. This is from her regular um, original line. And we're going to pop this on with the Sigma E40. And we're just going to buff out the crease. More of uh, Children of the Revolution. And we're actually going to go over the edges of the purple so it fades into the brow color a little easier. Now I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in the shade matte Camille. I'm going to take a uh, street rat which is that beautiful satin pinky purple. I'm now going to take Entertain Us which is that shimmering gold and we're actually going to use this to blend out the edges of street rat. I'm taking Jordana Fabu liner. And we're just going to do a 
liquid line liner wing. Glot false lash effect mascara, and we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Faced Aqua Bunny bronzer, and we're going to put this on using the same brush I used, which is the Dime Tools 957, the yellow bamboo brush. I'm taking the Pumpkin Poppy cream blush in the shade Kim. Poppy's Debutante Cream Blush, and we're just going to use this as a highlighter. Depends on your skin tone. Some people who are really porcelain use this as a blush. It's entirely up to you what you like. I'm taking Glot Soft Precision Lip Liner in number 68. The Too Faced uh, Lip Lip Creme Lip Creme, sorry, in the sh in the shade Sweet Maple. The eyes are so fun and sparkly and bright in person. I don't want the lips to be too boring, too muted, because I don't want to drown out the rest of the face, to be honest with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the colors, and yet it has sort of a, a fun, fun, easy finish to it as well, because I kind of eliminate the lashes, and I feel like the liner is very cute and easygoing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed again, and thank you for watching.